is the quarterfinals of the 2020-21 MTN FA Cup between the Premier League survivors, Elmina Sharks, and the champions of the Premier League, Accra Hart Sabok. Yep, league champions versus survival, or survivors, if you like. And uh, Hart Sabok, having been crowned the champions, the question would be if they are over the celebration. It's the same can be asked of Elmina Sharks if they are over the celebrations of surviving yet another Premier League season. But I know these two sides and the two managers they've got will ask this place to put those emotions behind them and focus on the task at hand because when you get into the quarterfinal, you know you are within touching distance of the semis and perhaps the final itself. So these two sides will be coming into this game, forgetting about what has happened. It's fair to give them all the accolades, having shrug off the stiffest of oppositions throughout the Premier League campaign. Forget about the defeat to Wafa last weekend in Sogakope. Some have said they weren't really motivated for that game in Sogakope, but you won't take anything from the Wafa team who gave their all to beat the Phobians. Yeah, I think the Wafa were the better team of the day. I don't think Hartford really wanted to win to get the party going, but credit to Wafa with the way they played. But Hartford will be focusing on themselves now. It's, it wasn't a waste of results or waste of performances. That's the lineup of Elmina Sharks. Four changes to the team that beat us and take a tackle last weekend in Obwase. Rashid Sule is out. His place is taken by Justice Mensah. John, John Yamiche comes in for Clem Alfo. There's also a place for Benjamin Kinsley Braye for Alaji Mustafa. So, Odate Lamte making four changes to the team that beat Kotoko last weekend. Yeah, that's Lam today, the man who masterminded the survival, embracing very well. This coach is coming up against the league, the league winner, Samuel Buedu. Accra Hatsabok have made just one change. Caleb Amankwa comes in for Victor Edu. So the Phobians are parading an unfamiliar midfield look in this game with Daniel Efriye Barnier. Obviously, the man leading the attack for them. Elmina Sharks in all green and the Phobians in their white jerseys with the rainbow colors came underway here in Elmina. It's Elmina Sharks and Hart Savok. It's Samuel Atta swings one in and Mohamed Al Hassan. Obuka, uncharacteristically, is unable to control. Suraj Ibrahim, good move. He goes down, referee waves play on. But that's the earlier incident. If it's going to be a penalty there, you're just driving through there. I don't think there's enough contact to bring in. That it probably was even outside the box, the contact, if any. But corner taken by Suraj. And Watson's ball is taken care of by goalkeeper. But again, nobody can defend it. And it's Bernard Boatin who's arriving, manages it. Ismail Hamon gives away possession now. Barnier does well to find Mensah onto the part of Barnier again. Good goalkeeping from Joseph Esam. The man to check into the space, take a look at the run from Barnier. Completely in behind the defence, but the goalkeeper made a very, very good decision to step out of his line and make himself as big. Daniel Nierje with a lovely switch to Kinsley Braille. He's up against Fatal Mohamed, goes past Fatal, sets up Boateng. And work here to cut inside. Once he gets the ball, he's get, making his way into the box there. Credit to him, stays on his feet. You can see what Ben Boateng is trying to do. He's trying to kill the ball into the far side, but he completely, completely misses that one. It's an awkward finish in the end. The manager knows it. And even he, the player himself, knows that that was poorly executed. Good ball to Nyamiche. Siraj comes forward, the right back. Now here's Daniel Nieje. It goes out for a goal kick. That's a fuck. They were not really putting the pressure on him. They seem to be backing off and backing off. He had the time and space ahead of him too. Frederick and Samboche, back for Buka. He's got Nyamiche to beat, he swings across in. It eludes everyone, Salifu Ibrahim. He just can shoot on his weaker right foot. Fatal's ball is in. Barnier gets the touch, but it goes over. Did he make it? Yeah. And again, there you see Salifu. 
just laying that one on for the captain because he can't shoot with the weaker right for the cross is coming in takes a deflection goalkeeper is always trying to guard the near post but Pania just smuggles his way to the near side and makes contact just couldn't keep it down that, that could have been very very troubling this of additional time already up here Salifi Brian for Hatsabok Isaac Mensah turns and delivers there's a block from Ishmael Hammond and here is Ansab Moche. Now Caleb Amankwa, Fatal Mohamed, that's what to pick out Daniel Lefrey Abani, a good movement from the hearts of number 18. Lovely ball through, and Sabotre! But all the good work done by Bani. look at the way he picked up that ball, but he picked him out in the box really well. I think he did everything right there, and Sabotre, not sure why he's trying to go for the far post from there, the near post was very open. Goalkeeper's positioning wasn't great. They didn't really need to try and force the issues into the far post. And in doing so, have the confidence of Isaac Mensa. Lovely turn. Not afraid to turn and face the defenders here. Getting the shot away with his left foot. Blocked by the corner. It's coming up. Awkward hit of the ball, and that's the end of the first half here at the Indom Sports Complex. Some of you wouldn't be a happy man. Here we go for second half. It's Elmina Shaxton Hale. Isaac Mensah to Benjamin Afutu. Afutu goes for power. Isam fails to make a first time save. And Atta rescues. To be ready for the effort. And the ball took a bounce right in front of him. And he did well to actually get a hand onto it. Banier couldn't get it on target because Gokipa had made himself big from recovering. From Caleb Amankwa's ball in. Nearly an own goal. Kinsley J. Good pressure from Daniel Barnier. Might have come off Barnier, maybe. He made himself some of, somewhat of a nuisance there. Final touch came off Barnier. Goalkeeper had to be alert and keep his eye on it and go down low to make the catch. Picking off. Here is Frederick and Saboche. Wants to create that space, but. It's taken over by Isaac Mensah, straight to Joseph Esam. Yeah, time and space for the shot. Not as powerful and precise as he would have loved. Easy catch for the goalkeeper. <laughs> Salif Ibrahim, Daniel Barnier's header. And he goes out for a goal kick. Not working that set piece really well and it's... The ball into the box into Bani, who gets ahead of his man. Good ball to Daniel Lefrey and Bani. Bani sets up Caleb Amakwa. Poor ball from him there, but didn't want to win it. Set up Caleb Amakwa, whose effort is always rising because he's leaning back when he's hitting it. Ibrahim delivers. Hatsabo coming close. Post could have gone anywhere. Good ball scrambling there. Didn't know where the ball was. Bodies all over the place. Two more to go. Obuka's throwing. Flicked down by Franklin. Headed down by Harmon. Franklin's ball. That was mighty close. Mighty, mighty close. Again, they didn't really get the clearance away well, but Franklin here. What a special moment that would have been for him. That was almost bring proceedings to an end. Whistle to his mouth, he blows it and it's over. It's over between Hatsabok and Shak. We are into extra time. Raj. James BC with a lovely turn and controls. He wants to create the space and drive. Bissiu! Decent energy about him. Once he turned, he, he saw the space ahead of him and wanted to work the angle for him to pick the shot. Yeah, the shot came. And it's right. It's Caleb Amankwa. Beautiful goal. Magnificent. Stupendous. This is simply fantastic. Caleb Amankwa scores the opener for the Phobians. A magnificent run from Fatao, the captain, followed by Radio Fuka. 
then the execution perfect really perfect but question marks about goalkeeping here the wall broke the ball went right over the wall the wall didn't jump but i think the goalkeeper with it that is to take nothing away from the execution that was perfect but the goalkeeper really should be getting this onto this one because it's right down the middle it should be piring it over the top of the bar but that is the goal that gives the phobia as the lead this is the hallmark of true champions Nia J for Bissiu, good control. Bissiu goes down. Free kick for Amina Shak. It is Bissiu, it is Bissiu, Bissiu! It goes out, it's a goal kick. Yeah, that was cool. He's, he's, he's trying to nestle it into the area where, but I think he caught, he caught, he caught the, a pitch. Yeah, he caught the pitch before the ball left his foot. So it doesn't quite clearly make the ball. Our course for the double. The beating Elmina Shaks in the quarterfinals of the MTN FA Cup. And they are into the semi-finals of the MTN FA Cup.